The views and opinions expressed on hashtag WTF Dumi do not necessarily reflect those of the public broadcaster nor Urban Brew Studios. All necessary precautions have been taken to minimize any bias or prejudice. performance from Heinz Winkler and that is not it from him we chat to him later on in the show good evening Mzanti the holidays are over it's back to school and here's a picture of the kids and here's a video of parents everywhere when it was announced that the school holidays are finally over Chris Hoy gets the gold medal here in the Kirin. That's his sixth gold medal. He becomes the greatest achiever ever. Look, let's be honest, that's a lot of mums who are actually crying on the first day of school. We're like, how dare you grow up so quickly? So to be, be honest, did you, did you cry? Did you cry? No, Glenn, it was windy that day. Mm. Something got in my eye. Mm. Another sign that the holidays are over is that traffic is hell. There are so many cars on the road and it's like the kids are driving themselves to school. Speaking of traffic, right? I remember when I was a member of Scholar Patrol and I'm gonna give you a little reenactment of what we used to do in Scholar Patrol, ne? So am I playing? Who, yes, uh, you're the guy in the car. Just okay. come. You're a hot guy in a car, ne? Thank you. Okay. So, <laughs> um, there's no traffic, so. Yeah, but I'm looking. Um, at what? At you. <laughs> but uh, look, I just dropped off my brother, and I'm just going to varsity. So can I please? Ah, you're so dreamy. <laughs> oh, hashtag me too. 
and that was it. Man, we love that guy. Timmy Muraki, how could you do that to a poor varsity student? Dude, he was hot. Don't judge me. Sheesh. Speaking of hot, our show tonight is just that. Two former Idols winners, Heinz Winkler and Kayam Tetra, join us. And then we end the show with a tantalizing performance by Timothy DeMonk. But first, Glenn, what's the WTF of the day? Why, thank you, my Tumza. The WTF of the day today is worst teacher fail. Now, We've all struggled to learn a language before. It makes sense, but it really helps if you have a patient teacher. This next video is of an impatient teacher teaching English to Russian kids in Russian. It's very confusing. Just take a look. <laughs> Ю это Ю это ты, запомни. Ю это ты. Ю это ты. А ну не хрич. Не надо хрич. Oh, he got kicked in the babushkas. <laughs> Look, Glenn, you can't say that she wasn't playing ball. <laughs> Listen, she may be failing English, but she's getting straight A's in. I'll pluck some you if you mess with me. For that. <laughs> My first guest is an award-winning musician, a preacher, and a certified chick magnet. I don't know if he means to be. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Heinz Winkler. Oh, where are you? Thank you very much. Glenn, what is our lovely hunky Heinz drinking? Heinz, so uh, like uh, many famous lagers, you are pale, you are Dutch, <laughs> and you are very famous. So I mixed you a drink that I like to name after all of that. I call it uh, Heinzeken. Heinzeken. Yeah. All right, thank I you very much. Heinzeken. Enjoy it. Non alcoholic. Appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure. Beautiful. Oh. Please tell me about its time. That's the song. That you played us in the beginning. What what what's up there? Balances. I felt inspired. I think is the quickest way of saying it to to do something with music to encourage and inspire unity in our nation. Um, mm -hmm. In January of 2018, I already asked my Luiso and Neville, my two friends in the in the industry, whether they would be willing to do a song with me, and they said yes. Yeah. And I didn't have a song at the time. Just a couple of months later, I, I felt inspired. I felt like this download from heaven. And I, and I wrote this song. I did it on a, on a prayer trail we did through the Western Cape. Mm. And I just knew this was the song. So I took it to them and I said, are you keen? Because I, I think if, if a white guy, a black guy, and a colored guy can do something together and stand up for unity, it could just do something and bring a positive message to our nation. And, uh, and that's come together in such a great way You'll see in the music video, we got churches, communities, yeah, ministries together to, to say they stand in solidarity with this idea. Um, yeah. So it's been great to go out there and, and speak about it and get people to speak about it. Oh, that is beautiful, man. Um, um, Heinz, uh, sorry, it's just when you said a, a white guy, a black guy, and a colored guy, I was like, that's the beginning of a gag. <laughs> <laughs> white guy, black Walk guy. Walk into the, Walk. the mountains. <laughs> Walk into heaven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so you've landed on Dip It. And what you need to do in dip it is the Vosho. Do you know the Vosho? No. Can you please, oh my gosh, how's your knee up? Have but, you recovered uh, from your um, knee up? Uh, it's still coming up. So you can't, you can't really do your knee, your I, I, Vosho? I can't do a Vosho, you're gonna have to teach me. I need, I, need, I need a crew member to please show Heinz how to do the Vosho, we're running out of time. Very quickly, please set to, if you could please jump in and do the Vosho for us. Uh, is it a we don't have a lot dancing? of yes, time. So jump in. So you, okay. dip it, you dip it with a dance. There you go. Yeah, that it? dip it with That's the dance. It. There we okay. go. Okay, so like, ready? Like okay, have we got some music? Like walking on hot coals. <laughs> yes. I oh. Yeah. I, I like that. I actually like prefer that Bosho because it doesn't hurt your knees. That is nice. Oh. Well, I like, go higher. Uh, no, please don't go oh. any higher. Step <laughs> down, brother. You have been elevated enough already. <laughs> Trying to do another Bosho. Now, talk us through how you moved from South Africa's idol to preacher. 
Uh, wow, it's been, I think it, it was a long time coming and, and developing in a way. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it started out, I was studying for law, then I went into the music industry and just fell in love with, uh, with singing, performing. Yeah. And for me, looking back now, I think a lot of the being in the English commercial market, going overseas, doing a musical, doing the Afrikaans pop scene, it was all, you know, preparation in a way. Yeah. Learning communication, learning audiences, mm. uh, learning how to be funny <laughs> in the right moments, yeah. and, and then y utilizing it. You know, um, I mean, I wanted to go into gospel ten years ago, okay. and I just, I just felt that uh, it wasn't the right time. Okay. And uh, then I kept going when I came back from overseas, and and I've, I, then I've. It's a very long story, but it comes down to just from a faith point of view. I just felt God said it's time. Yeah. Uh, it's time. So it was and a natural transition. It wasn't one of those where you go through something really hectic and you're like, okay, no, I get it. No, a, a lot of a lot of people think uh, I suddenly got a born again Christian uh, and then changed. But I've been a Christian f since I was 16. Uh, so it's it was always part of my life, who I am. Uh, and even in my commercial music, you know, I want to inspire, I want to uh, bring a positive message. Um, so now it's just a bit more direct and, uh, and true to, to who I am. And, and I love doing what I'm doing now. I really enjoy it. I can see that. You look like you're so at peace. <laughs> right. We're going to use the ad break to interrogate more where he gets this peace. We'll be back right after this. show remember to hit us up on the socials and use hashtag wtf to me we are hanging out with hunky hines are you still called hunky hines i haven't heard that in a long time oh really yeah well I you like to beg my wife to say it every now and again <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm kidding oh my gosh <laughs> actually but, uh, while we're on that subject i mean do you did you ever at any point go i'm tired of being a chick magnet i want to be a congregation magnet like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you still um, take, is it worse now? Because now they're going, but he's pure and he loves church and he's a good guy. So it's even worse than I, I, magnetic. The vibe. best way I can answer you on that one is that once I got married, it changed. You know, like I felt a kind of covering um, in a way because mm -hmm. I'm now, you know, with my wife and we, we love each other. We've made a decision. Also, oh, the, the ladies don't mess with you. Yeah, it's it's actually become easier rather than harder for in in, in my story. So and it's a choice you make, you know. Mm. It's they, yes, there was definitely a time when I I was a, a bit of a player and I I, I liked the ladies, I liked the attention. No, I yeah, <laughs> you a player? Yes. You look so sweet. Why is it always the sweet ones? <laughs> <laughs> and and what and what made the the wife the lucky one? What made what was different about her? I just knew deep down that she's my wife. I, I for a year, we, we got to know each other for over a year period where I was still not completely uh, in a good space. I was caught up in the fame, caught up in the attention, and uh, I wasn't treating her well. Mm -hmm. And then I got a, a revelation in a way, I guess, in the beginning of 2006, and I just, I'm like, oh my word, she's my wife. And I, I went to her and I told her that. And I said, I will understand if you tell me go to, mm, but, uh, <laughs> Please, you know, consider it. And and she said, I think you're my husband. And then did yeah, you at least get down on one knee, or did you just go, listen, you're my wife? No, that uh, wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't the proposal. I, I had a proper proposal <laughs> where I did a whole treasure hunt and a thing okay, where, and then I you, had a white suit and the song. Oh, and there the, you see went that. down on one knee. There it is. There you go. Okay, yeah. we oh believe you gosh. now. That wasn't that monist. Oh, know. beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful to our town. <laughs> Lovely. It's awesome. It was funny, he was in Hermanus. Hermanus. And now he's Herman. Oh. Hey, well done on work like that. There. Look at that. That's, oh. that's good. good. I appreciate that. Nice. That's good. See. Now, let's talk about, you know, we've, we touched a little bit on dark times before the ad break. Uh, you went through social media hell. I know what it's like to go through social media hell. Um, but let's look at this. They say, watch, Heinz Winkler speaks out against hashtag Black Monday. Yes. Is that really what you were doing or is that how it was misconstrued? It's, it'll take really long to go through the whole thing. But yeah, the, just a brief summer. Yeah, for me, what I saw happening was a, 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 
a farmer that was really sad mm -hmm. and wanted to th have a day where we commemorate all the farmers that have been murdered mm -hmm. in our country, which in itself, obviously nothing wrong with it. Yes. But then people started jumping on this bandwagon and it started to become a white-black thing. Yes. It started to become a polarizing thing. Yes. And our nation is already so divided. Mm. And what I started hearing was farmers' lives matter more than other South Africans' lives. Mm. And that put me over the edge. Mm. Like, I just had to say something. And I'm a white yeah. Afrikaner. The, the Afrikaans people have been my supporters. Yeah. They, you know, so it was a, it was a risky thing to do. Mm. I did not expect the backlash I got yeah. to be that bad because they basically saw me... It's almost like they didn't listen to the rest of what yes. I said. Because I did put it in context. Yes. But I, I didn't say we shouldn't think of the people that have yes. been murdered. But up until that point in that year, we had about 300 farm murders, but 19,000 murders in South Africa. Sure. So in context, I'm like, South African lives matter. Yeah, it's let's, bad. let's get together and yeah. stand against violence against South Africans. So that was what my message was on. But so your all, backtrack was what? Was your backtrack you clarifying or was your backtracking you apologizing? My backtrack was people were seeing the reaction, realizing that I have offended them deeply, mm. which wasn't my intention, mm. and then saying I'm sorry for how it made them feel. I did sure. not say sorry for what I said because yeah. I still stand by it. Okay. And there's amazing things that happened after that. Okay. On Black Monday, mm. there was a, a man, a, a white Afrikaans man, murdered in his house in Stellenbosch. A week after it happened, his wife phones me. She got my number from one of her friends. Yeah. And she says to me, listen, I, this is who I am. And I immediately went cold. Mm. And she said, I just wanted to call you to encourage you. Because the night I was, the night of my husband's murder, our, in our last conversation, he said to me, I wish I was more, like, I, I was as brave as Heinz was. Sure. And that really encouraged me. I mean, yeah. someone who had lost someone mm -hmm. to a murder was able to say that to me. So. It all just kind of, it was really hard for a time there. I lost work, my wife lost work, uh, our family got bashed around in social media. So it was really difficult, but I, I, I still stand by, by what I said. I believe all South African lives matter, and we don't just have a farm murder issue. Mm. We have a bigger issue, so. Yeah, that's intense, guys. Uh, <laughs> let's lighten it up a bit and hopefully find something naughty in Heinz's phone. Let's play <laughs> hashtag top three. And to answer Heinz's question of what's that? What's that, what's that, what's that, what's that? <laughs> so you'll see there's a wheel on the screen. We're going to spin that wheel. And wherever the arrow lands, I'm going to look for three things. So if it lands on the back, I'm going to search your man bag for three items. Okay. If it lands on Twitter or Instagram, I'm going to go through your DMs. Whoa. Let's spin the wheel. <laughs> All <laughs> That should be interesting. See if there's any unholy water in there. <laughs> Where are mm. Twitter. My okay, face. here we uh, go. Are you already logged into my account? Unlock? Oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> no deleting, please. I can see you already. Okay. You're figures. a pure man of honesty and integrity. He's even put me already on the thing. I would like to know, is Danny Kay in there? Because you stole Luis huh. Bala from him. Ah, <laughs> he was upset. He you was upset. Are you topping chats in, in Netherlands? Yeah, they started sending me messages about my songs. In the, that is so cool. Some kind of Netherlands yeah. top chart. Yeah. That guy says... The top chat statistic <laughs> in for November uh, 2018. Okay, that's definitely something. Good and worden met the understanding and word knopen. Right there, you've lost me. That is the hey banam. Afrikaans people don't even understand that. Don't worry. I know, right? No, uh -oh. So is this like if if you took Afrikaans and you condensed it and then you sucked out all the South Africanness from it? Is when that you, what you get when, when you When you speak get... to Dutch people, they yeah? think we speak like little children. Ah. Oh, wow. So for them, Afrikaans is a watered down version of Dutch. Yeah. Oh. oh, this is beautiful. Maki, ek is jammer vir jou en ek dink aan jou. This too shall pass. Oh, oh that's when the whole thing happened, yeah. Gelukkig het ek jy, het jy altyd die engelkies wat wacht hou. Sterkte. <laughs> so what it means is, friend, sorry for you and I'm thinking about you. This too shall pass. Luckily, you always have angels uh, holding on. At least yeah. she learned something at Jacaranda. You can see I get a lot of DMs on Twitter because that's from a year ago. So, yeah. What did you just I say? I said at least you learned something at Jacaranda. What? Not to, <laughs> to say translate. things? To, 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 to translate. <laughs> yeah, you're very good. I'm How impressed. How about you just tell us your throwback okay. and stop being funny? <laughs>
thanks to him. Back to school isn't just about classrooms, it's also about sports field. This week we're throwing it back to a viral video of learners on the sports field. Let's check it out. Go Aiki, go Aiki! Go Aiki, go stop, go stop, stop! Go stop, go stop, go Aiki! Go stop, Icon! Go on, Icon! Go stop, go stop, go on! Go on! That kid has a brighter future in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like that parent running after that kid did not help. Uh, run, Forrest, run. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> right. <It's> funny. <laughs> Well, it is time to welcome our next guest. He is also an award-winning musician and a preacher. Ladies and gentlemen, Kayam Tetra. Yo, yo, yo. So I like me, man. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, how are you? Good, how are you, sir? Good, how are you Grab your seat, grab your seat. Oh. You know, today these people are just hitting us deep in the heart of our feelings with their infant songs. Thank you. Glenn. What is Kaya drinking? Uh, well, um, my, in my hometown of Cape Town, uh, there's a suburb uh, or a location called Kaya Licha. So yeah. what I've done is I've put lychee in this drink, <laughs> and for Kaya, I've called it Kaya Lychee. Yes. So please That's good. enjoy that. What's right. in here for real? Uh, lychee <laughs> and a little bit of something yeah, too. Let me something put that yeah. right here. <laughs> give it a zing. Yeah, give it a zing. Wow. <laughs> Kaya landed on Dare. Strip down. Wow. <laughs> is that your That's favorite? Kind of Borderline. Please behave. Oh, my goodness. Please behave. <laughs> That's like the silliest thing anyone could ever say to me. It's the wrong show, bro. Please behave. <laughs> we need to see the fifth saved picture on your camera roll. Fifth. Mm. Yo, 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 and Hans, yo. you can make sure he's not... Don't uh, um, oh, oh, thank, thank God it's the... <laughs> But thank God it's the fifth one, two, three, know, four, anything. five. Perfect. It's the weather it's the for weather. today. It's the weather for Lanceria. Yes. Uh, yes. Why were you looking for weather if in Lanceria? If you said two or one, we had a problem. But now. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Lanceria about? I'll show you. I was, I was just like, I was just screen munched. Actually, I meant to have sent that. I meant to send that to my wife to be like, yo, it's hot up in here. Yeah, uh, and then I ended up talking to her over, over the phone. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, very hot. Okay. Or maybe he sent that to her to be like Lanceris like you today, baby. Wow. Oh, yes, that's, you need a good line. That, that's an amazing <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, that's fun. So you've taken over Daddy's church. Yeah. Was that always a dream or is it like the curse of being the PK? Dream, no, but yes. uh, I think it's it's it's, Wrong it's word. purpose. You know what I mean? It's I mean. yeah, it's like something running after you. Sometimes purpose runs after you more than yeah. you run after it, and when when it finds you, then you start pursuing that purpose as well. Oh, you know? wow. So I guess it's it, I've I've had a cat and mouse kind of relationship with the church. Uh, love and hate, yeah. uh, but love God, love the people in the church. Don't really like the organization that much. <laughs> uh, but um, I, I, I believe that God has brought me there to bring about that kind of change that yeah. I believe that needs to go into it and hopefully uh, be effective doing that. Sure. Good. Sorry, I just want to jump in. I know it's off topic, but yeah. when you uh, uh, win idols, do they write you a brief saying you have to wear black and then go into <laughs> uh, religion after that? Because yeah. you guys are, are really <laughs> following suit pretty well here. I follow <laughs> after him, actually. Fair enough, yeah. But, but, I didn't even know he was going to be on the show. This is <laughs> completely coincidental. What was the dream, though? My dream holistically in life? Like before you, you, you followed the journey that you were clearly born for. Sure. What, what was the dream? My original dream was to fly aircraft around the world. Oh. I wanted, wow. to, be an, I wanted to be a pilot. My maths wasn't that good. So. <gasps> Can you, you imagine him as a pilot? <laughs> <laughs> Can you please just, just sing me, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to land. Sing it to you. Just sing it to me if you were a pilot. Wow. Sing it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me see. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to land this craft here in Johannesburg. Listen. Oh. Yes, Mr. Pilot. Yeah, Lend me in the... today. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you've been singing for a long time. Didn't yeah. you sing back up for Mini Damini? For Mini Damini? When did, oh, well, 
How did you get that story to? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Jeez, that was not ready for that. They've got How researchers. Did you tell you? Mini goes around telling people that I sang back up. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I made him. You see him great, him preaching, but I made a brother. <laughs> no, that goes way. I was not ready for that. goes way. But yes, I sang back up for her. How old were you? At some point. I think I was like, I was like, a good 14, a good 16. Yeah, good 16, 17. It was called uh, the Young Professionals Project. Uh, young, young Professionals, I think. Uh, down in Durban, it was theater work. And she was more of the acting drama student and I was part of the singing uh, ensemble. Ah, so what he's basically saying is that he was God's property and she was Kirk Franklin. Wow. We'll be back after the ad break. That's funny. <laughs> This is Hashtag To Me on SABC3. We are hanging out with Heinz and Kaya. Um, now, we're celebrating love, right? We've talked the agape love. Now I want to talk romantic love with our brothers right here. <laughs> Let me start with you, Kaya. You recently celebrated an anniversary, your first anniversary, yes? Yeah, one year. Oh Congrats, my God. bro. Yeah, one year, finally. Amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Was it one of those I knew I was ready? Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. All Zulu traditional things wow, there. Wow, beautiful. Oh, man. <laughs> No, I, I was not ready. I mean, I, I feel like I was tricked into marriage somehow. <laughs> oh, what, your heart tricked you? Yeah, my heart tricked me, you know. Yeah. So I feel like I, sometimes I wake up, we actually look at each other, we married. <laughs> we actually married. And no, it's been an amazing one year. It's flown past so quickly. Yeah. Um, but, you know, coming together with, with Dando has been a, an incredible blessing in my life. She is 100% better human than I am. I'm, I, I, I look at her and I thank God every day that hopefully one day I will grow up to be like her. <laughs> it's true though, because I remember I met you a few years ago, we were doing a gig, and I feel like since you were married, because I've seen you a couple of times, you yeah. didn't spot me, um, but you are lighter on your feet than you were what do you mean? Back then. What do you mean? Like you're lighter, you're happy. I'm happy you're now. You're happy. I'm very happy. You're walking light. <laughs> I'm very happy. Um, Honeymoon phase. And tell us about your proposal, because Heinz made his wife work for her uh, ring. Why yes. are you asking me about proposals? My wife still, whenever she sees a proposal, she's like, oh, thank God for the other kids that can oh, propose. Oh, <laughs> like these other kids yo, get yo, yo. <laughs> I did it the old tradition. I sent a letter home yes. without her knowing. I wrote a letter to her parents. Oh, that's that beautiful. That I'd like to come and hit the cows. And they told her they did a family meeting and da, da, da. So I didn't do a formal proposal. She saw, the first time she saw her diamond ring was on the day of the wedding. Yo. That is so beautiful. Is it? Not to her. I wish, <laughs> I wish she would get it. It's because it's it, you, you preserved culture. Yeah, I preserved culture. And, and you guys' anniversary is quite close to your parents' anniversary. My, my parents' anniversary was yes, well, well was the day after. Yes. The day after. It's the our, day after. Our, 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 was that planned that way? No, I mean, when we had planned our wedding day, uh, we had planned it some later on in, the, in, in December. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're like, no, man, let's push it earlier so that when, so that when our family, if they want to travel, if yeah, they want to do other they things, can do what they, they need can to do what they need to I do. I like yeah. thoughtful people. Yeah. Now, tell us about that, that, that specific proposal of yours. You said you made it go to eight places. Jeez, nine. Nine? Yes. Heinz, why are you sitting here? And was she, did she know she's chasing a proposal? Or was, was she like, I oh, what she are you doing? A, this is so much fun. I think she had a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I went, my, my parents live in Betty's Bay. And from my childhood, there are many places between Betty's Bay, Clay Mountain, and Manas, that whole stretch uh. that are very significant to me. Oh. And I thought it would be quite, kind of cool to give her a bit of an exciting thing to do and get to know me and oh. places that are important to me. Sure. And so starting at home, uh, I left early in the morning, left a letter next to her bed to give her the first clue where to go. And the first clue was at a, one of these benches by the sea in Betty's Bay. And then I did that at, at a few other places. I put a letter with the next clue and a rose. 
and by the grace of God, all, them, all of them stayed where I put them. Because like, I just left them there, you know, for about two hours. Yeah. And, and then she was only coming along and you, getting them. You could, have, you could have had some other girl going, uh, I mean, yeah. I found this. Is this for me? Are we, do, are we doing this? Imagine that. Now, on each note, there were pictures of me and her. So oh, okay. I made sure. I made sure. And then at, at the end, in, uh, from in Hermanus at Kwaiwater, there's this spot where that's special to my family. We always go and sit there at the end of the year, look at the ocean, think about the year gone by, dream about the year ahead. So that's where I proposed. Sure. At a, oh, yeah. Laka. It's a lot of work, man. This yep. guy likes to draw people a picture but, when he but, likes uh, can I Can I say something about the honeymoon phase? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, there's the honeymoon and yes. there's the honeymoon phase. phase All right. yeah. So what I've learned is that the, the honeymoon phase can last long, depending on you know the couple and how long they've been together and stuff like that. But what I found with the honeymoon phase is the phase where you, you, you only say nice things to each other, you almost never fight. Yeah. But there's, there's this one day where suddenly it changes. Yeah, it flips over. <laughs> and it, for me, it was one morning where I woke up, I would normally wake up and have a lack of kiss with my wife. And then this one morning she said, ah, ah. <laughs> you need to brush your teeth first. Ah. I'm like, that wasn't a problem yesterday morning. Time's then, up. And then somewhere in that same week, I had the, the toilet conversation. Have you had that okay. conversation? Uh, See, uh, where, where, that where she, she goes, you get the fingers. Uh, uh, to, and then she shows you the toilet and, and she goes, what is this? I'm like, it's a toilet. <laughs> and she goes, why is the seat up? I'm like, I don't know, why is it down when I get here? <laughs> so then you suddenly know, maybe the honeymoon phase is now it's coming there's, to an end. It looks like every wife needs to draw their husband a picture, which brings me to our next With game, arrows. Pictionary. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, this is how it works, okay? So we have uh, words uh, on the screen, um, on that screen over there, all right? And the partner has to draw what's on the screen to the person who's guessing behind the podium. Does that ah, make sense? Sure. Okay. Yes. Very easy. All right, uh, we're going, we, what did we say? Who did we say? Myself and Kaya against you and Heinz. Yes, let's all right, do that. Let's do it. You guys take your podiums there, please. Team Heinz and Team okay. Kaya. All right. Okay. Stand wherever your name is. Okay, Kaya, you ready? I'm in position. Are you ready for yes, this? Yes, let's do this. Okay, we, I've got, we've got 30 seconds. Must, must I just keep quiet while you're guessing? Yeah. You can absolutely give us a point if you've got Okay, he, here we go. Okay. <laughs> it's easy. Okay. It's easy, Glenn. Focus. Okay. Ah, you see. Are we, are we, How much time? Yes, yes, yes. I see what you're doing. Uh, that's... Uh, oh, it's a wine glass. Almost, yeah. A uh, champagne glass. But, okay, so, but like. Maybe put it across next to okay. Champagne glass, wine glass. Okay. Okay. That, this is. A chalice. Uh, what? A chalice. That is very oh, difficult. Oh my god. It's a king. It's a king. Yeah. Very difficult. That's a king. King, king I also thought it's a gunfire. Oh, that is okay. difficult. What, what that am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, you ready? Oh, this is too easy. Oh, wow. Come on. I believe in you, both of you. Oh no, that looks a Spoon. bit naughty now. <laughs> oh no. Bat. Yeah. yeah. Table tennis bat. Tennis racket. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Yeah. okay, well done. <laughs> very, very good. Okay, let's uh, switch around. Okay, go. We're switching up. All right. Okay, we got to do better. Okay, there you go. Going in first. I believe in right. you, Heinz. Okay. I believe in you oh, too. Okay. Me. <laughs> okay. Uh, egg, egg head. Egg, no. Chalice. No. Uh, cross. Chalice. Finger. Uh, oh. Uh, football. Oh. American. No. Rugby ball. Rugby ball. <laughs> yes. yes. Well done. Good. Good. That good. Was, that was a yeah, great try. That, that was really very hard. good. Right. That was hard. Very old school. A very I, like. It's an old school one. We need to get yeah, into the Yeah, I like it. Very good. All right. <laughs> okay. So it's one, two, one to you guys. Let's go, let's go. No, one. It's one, one all. It's one, one. Microphone. Microphone. It's one one. Cricket. And <laughs> bedroom. This is for the win, eh? This okay, is gonna... for the win, Heinz. Some kind of tie, watch. <laughs> Sweep. Um, Seven. All right. uh, Six. Golf. No. Five. <laughs> Three. Uh, two, draw this. One. It's the match stick. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. How would you draw a matchstick? <laughs> it's time for a break. We have more from Heinz and Kaya after.
after oh, this. Wow. Finally, a worst one. Have that stick. On the show. Welcome back here as hashtag VTFTV. We love hearing from you on the socials. So please tweet us your thoughts on the show. Ons blom saan met Heinz Winkler en Kayam Tiktwa. Wow, so mooi gezegd. Dank je Heinz. Wel gedaan. Ach, ja, ik probeer maar. Jij was lang in Pretoria, kan ik zien. Bij gunste lang boerenworst. Asse. Kom, van Pretoria af. Asse. But now... On a serious note, Kaya, um, as married people, and I believe Heinz will agree with me on this one, said, Glenn, you can sit it out. <laughs> we have three children. Sure. And we believe as a young newlywed. Mm. Indeed, it is time to catch up. Don't you agree, Heinz? <laughs> it is time. We are waiting for little ones now. You oh, can't him. be celebrating anniversary. Because <laughs> you, you're on three now, right? It's three boys. Um, now. Three boys, no yes, sure. Yes. Hey, man, that's, that's the cows leaving the house. I've got two boys and the girl who's going to return all the cows that okay. the boys are taking out. Plan. Yeah. Hopefully so, soon. It's only married a year, man. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. No. Don't you want that, Kaya? Look at that. Hey. So beautiful. I will put them in a frame and put them in my house it's like it's my family. It's a one day for me. It's a one it's day. A one day. Yeah, it's bro, a someday. Have it's as much time though. as you can with just you and your wife. No. Yeah. yeah. Are the parents putting pressure yet though? A lot. My oh, mom. Wow. My uh. mom's kids. Like yesterday, my dad is like, we're getting old. <laughs> You're getting but, old. Yeah. But aren't you confusing them with pictures like this? I mean, this post had us all excited for no reason. <laughs> Which post? This post. But May they glow, women's. continue to grow. Don't pretend you like you You have to glow and grow in one post and have a side profile of Ooh, your wife. That was her birthday. Yeah, but she, she said, said that glow she must said grow. She baby bump. <laughs> so where's the baby bump? There is no baby bump. <laughs> we thought you were being on the scope and just going and posting ah, things so without asking guys, first. You guys like So things. we're excited for nothing. You guys are and she's wearing a blue things. dress like you're Ooh. the boy. Ah. Like we were already planning things. That was my mom's she, birthday. Oh my goodness. This is how rumors are started. Social just, media, Just like that. Wow. Uh, assumptions. What about, you know, talk about like a failure to launch. I know. Listen, <laughs> I feel like I just want to play a game because Kaya's messed with my feelings and the feelings of my heart. <laughs> so to help us play hashtag never that, please welcome Timothy DeMonk. Oh, Hey, man. Hey, can't you fresh like this? Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right. Let's play hashtag. Never that. All right. Thank you so much. So how this game works, guys, is I'm going to hand you one of these bats, okay? And Tumi's going to ask you questions. And I if am? you have done what she's asked, you swing your bat to yes. If not, you swing it to never that. Oh, wow. All right. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> I'm going to have to think. Yeah. We, we've done our research. We know if you're lying. Oh, we've wow. got of WTF experts. <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever <clears throat> twisted... Hmm. Never have I ever twisted scripture to make my point. Twisted scripture, Twisted. to make my point. <laughs> hey, I don't think there's no need. Oh, really? Not even Nyana? <laughs> Is this a half? No, 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 I'm pointing it to the... Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I will be honest, in my marriage, I visited a young Songs of Solomon. <laughs> hey. Just to throw in a hey. young thing, you know, my brother. <laughs> 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 It's at that level. That's an absolute so, yeah. Solomon. <laughs> That's it's there for a good yes. reason. <laughs> I, always, I always say to my younger friends who are not married yet, I'm like, ah, don't worry. Get married, then you can go to that chapter. Yes, Leave yes. it for now. Yes, don't read Leave it, it now. After. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever gone more than a day without a bath or a shower. Gone more than a day without a bath or a shower. I definitely have. How is it that for men? How many days quickly? Two. Two, I was like on a camp. <laughs> it was three. <laughs> I'm judging you. It was on, <laughs> it was on camp <laughs> two. <laughs> 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 what excuse you have to not talk for so long. Well, uh, <laughs> Never I have I ever. ever. <laughs> Who came from Cape Town here? One of you guys. It must have so been more than that. So they're definitely not the for longer. It was definitely <laughs> the worst. <laughs> weeks. Never have weeks. I ever stolen someone's song idea. Never have I ever stolen someone's I, song I, I idea. Am. On purpose or by accident? By uh, accident. Oh, is it? Yeah. It but happens. were they like, ah, but you did it better no, anyway? No, but not, they didn't even know. When I heard the song, <laughs> when I heard the song, I'm like, this sounds very familiar to my song. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, actually, this is not my I song. I almost did once, but we figured it out, and we didn't, oh. we didn't publish it. Oh, thank <laughs> yeah. goodness. Or at least as well. Yeah. Um, 
There are only eight notes to work with. Never have I ever <laughs> forgotten lyrics to my own song. Ooh, Live uh, that time. Lots. Right, okay. Many times. Really? A few times. Yeah, Which, many Which times. song quickly and ah. what did you do? Did you hum or what? Every day and I went na 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 na. <laughs> and you wrote it. <laughs> I wrote it as well, which made it much worse. Oh wow. Heinz? <laughs> oh, it happens often. What uh, do you do? You just keep you going. The worst thing you can do is stop. Yeah, because yeah. the, the, the music... I either, I either make up words or yeah. I hum. Or do you let your audience finish the words? Oh, they the, worst ah, thing. Ah, the, worst ah, thing ah. the worst thing when you're in a church, they've got the songs of your own lyrics. Yes, 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 yes. And you are singing it to them and it's not what they're thinking. Or you swap, ah. you swap a verse. You swap the verses and they go... Oh. Oh, that's hilarious. And then they're busy telling us the Holy Spirit is moving, <laughs> taking me in other directions. So let's allow our that's spirit moving. of mirth to take us to an ad break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Hashtag WTF to me. Before we wrap it up, Glenn is hanging out with Timothy on the other side. Over to you, Glenn. Thanks, Timmy. Tim Timothy. Timmy, 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 Tim, Timmy, Tim, 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 call me Tim. Tim uh, your song every day. I think it chopped the, it topped the charts for how long was it? Eighteen weeks. I think it was eight weeks. Eight. Number one, yeah, yeah, eight weeks. Eighteen uh, would be great. It would be great. Well, yeah. What does it take to to make a, a chart topping song? Um, just find any annoyingly catchy tune, <laughs> put it to song, and then you got some. No, I'm joking. So <laughs> it takes it takes time, practice, and effort as well, obviously. And uh, what? So you say you write your own lyrics. You write yeah. your own. Do you write the music too? Um, it starts off in the bedroom. My bedroom produce as well. So Wait. I come to studio with a demo that right. I've worked on myself. So guitar, drums, vocals, anything I can think of to add to a song myself. We'll oh. go then to studio from there. Okay. Now speaking of the bedroom, um, you, your other song, I Never Want to See Her Again. That, oh, that also... wasn't anywhere near the bedroom. Don't worry about that. Well, I, well I'm <laughs> sure it wasn't, but did, it, did that also start in the bedroom? Um, Kind of. <laughs> I'm talking about the... Oh, the, the song itself, yes. No, yes. the relationship. Oh, to, no, it didn't, the relationship. it didn't start in the bedroom. It didn't. Did it ever no. get to the bedroom? No. Good, okay, because your mom's watching. <laughs> um, is. But no, then you had another one called, I think, is it No Stress Moment? No Stress Moment, yeah. Was that the now about the after that relationship, now you have no stress? That wasn't actually to do with the relationship, so No Stress Moment was more to do with me being quite stressed at the time and like aiming to put a hit song out there, feeling very pressured to do that, but then realizing you know what, if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. You just got to do your 10,000 hours, keep writing songs if they're bad or not, keep releasing songs, that sort of thing. Out of the 10,000 hours, how many hours do you think you've done so far? I'm pretty darn close, actually. <laughs> eight? <laughs> like I write, no, 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 not even eight. Like, I mean, like, I sit and I write most days when I get home. Wow. Literally, it's the home studio, so my bed is here. There's, a, there's speakers and there's a laptop. Everything's there. And you're right. And how much of that stuff, percentage-wise, actually makes it into the world? Not even like 5%. <laughs> ah, you see, we, we're similar comedians and musicians. Yeah. Uh, quickly, plans for 2019. Where, what, what are the hopes, dreams, and expectations? Um, a ton more gigs. I've been doing a ton of gigs this year, which is really, really a blessing. And also, a ton more radio play for me. I'm planning on releasing quite a few singles, quite a, like even an album if I can, possibly. And then from there, getting bigger gigs, getting more radio play, getting my name out there. Okay, okay. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing... Oh, before I ask you, I'll get you, I'll get you going. Tell me about when you were signed to this radio, I mean, this record label, and then you went indie. What, what, what was that move all about? So, from record label to going independent, there was more a uh, choice, not, not really almost a choice. There was a lot, a lot of transparency behind certain things when it comes to record labels and all that sort of stuff. Like, there's a lot of fine print that I should have been reading concerning money now as well. And then the choice to go independent was after feeling comfortable and knowing quite a bit about, not a bit about the industry, but a bit about how to get your songs out there. And also finding the right people who aren't part of a record label to get your songs out there as well. And uh, this is a fantastic platform to get your songs out there. Out there Doing it on yeah. your own. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Go and get yourself ready. Sick. I can see your guitars on standby. Tooms, cool. over to you. Thank you, Glenn. Before I release my wonderful guests, yeah. uh, Kaya, Heinz, musical things you're going to be blessing us with this year. Heinz, let's start with you. Uh, to be honest, I am not sure. I am, you know, I'm, I'm writing, I'm planning a few things. I think the next project for me will be a collab 
thing. Uh, working with Luiso and Neville, and I, I was also requested, uh, a, a pastor from Namibia asked me to do a single with his daughter that sings in Namibia, mm -hmm. and that turned out quite cool. So maybe I'll do a collab thing and uh, keep, keep uh, in, uh, encouraging the, the unity message. Uh, I think that's really important. Sure, uh, and Kaya? So I think we've got, a, we've got an album out already called All About Jesus, and um, we're thinking of doing a DVD this year. So I think we're going to be doing a DVD some, some, somewhere in Johannesburg, somewhere. Uh, hopefully you'll be there. Hey, look, very much. I've been told very much Bring I need prayer. I'll be there. <laughs> it is needed. Thank you to my guests, Heinz Winkler and Kayam Tetra for hanging out with us. Glenn and I are back next week, closing off the show. Give it up for Timothy DeMonk with Every Day. Good night. You can say the words I hurt the most But I would never really look too close And now you're searching for a better love Cause I just left you and I gave you up Ay. Short skirt, she's flying high Whoa, She wants that other guy And I saw them driving by Whoa, Tell me what you like And she gives me hope and she gives me lows And she tells me every day that she's not alone And she gives me highs And she gives me lows And she tells me every day that she's not alone She tells me every day, 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 day She tells me every day, 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 day She tells me every day, 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 day She tells me every day, 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 day yeah, you can say the words I hurt the most But I would never really look too close And now you're searching for a better love Cause I just left you and I gave you up Ay. Short skirt, she's flying high Whoa, She wants that other guy And I saw them driving by Whoa, Tell me what you like And she gives me hope and she gives me lows And she tells me every day that she's not alone And she gives me highs And she gives me lows And she tells me every day that she's not alone She tells me every day, 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 day She tells me every day, 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 day She tells me every day, 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 day She tells me every day, day, day Short skirt, she's flying high, whoa, she wants that other guy And I saw them driving by, whoa, tell me what you like And she gives me highs, and she gives me lows And she tells me every day that she's not alone And she gives me highs, and she gives me lows And she tells me every day that she's not alone she tells me every day, 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 day. She tells me every day, 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 day. She tells me every day.